With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we are asked that the plants developed from epimectic embryos of a plant are. So basically, we discuss what the epimectic embryos are and how they are formed. So we discuss, so in some of the plants, what happens is that the embryo simply develops from the diploid cells, right? Embryo develops from the diploid cells of seed and not as a result of fertilization. So the embryos that do not develop from from the fertilization rather develop from the diploid cells of the seed such embryos are called as the epimictic embryos now so here the fertilization that occurs between the ovule and the pollen right so such seeds that do not arise from this fertilization but arises from the diploid cells of the seed they are called as apomictic embryos so this type of reproduction is simply known as the apomixis right and the seedlings produced in this manner are simply known as the right those seedlings are known as the apomix right those seedlings are known as the apo now we discuss further so the epimectic embryos or these epimects they are produced they are basically genetically identical right they are genetically similar or we can say they are genetically identical to each other right to each other because they are not uh, developed from the fertilization because in case of the fertilization we get to see some of the variations because both the parents are involved but here the progeny is not uh, or the embryo is not formed from the fertilization rather it is formed because of the diploid cells of the seed right so for that reason they are found to be so such embryo they are found to be genetically similar to each other as as well as to their parents as well right so for this reason if we look at the option here so the option one is that they are genetically different to each other wrong right they are morphologically similar to each other but genetically different from parents so this is wrong morphologically similar means that they are physically similar their physical appearance is similar so this is wrong because they are not genetically different right so this also this all option is also wrong then third is different to each other with respect to their ploidy ploidy means that they that they will be different to each other with respect to the number of chromosomes in them right so this is also wrong and then uh, because they are genetically identical so this means that they will also have the same ploidy same number of chromosomes so this is also wrong and the last option says that they are genetically identical to each other as well as to their parents so yes this is what we have discussed here so we can say that option 4 is our correct answer here right for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today